Perpetual motion has fascinated humanity for centuries. It's the idea of a mechanism that runs and functions forever without ever stopping or requiring external energy, even though the laws of thermodynamics prevent perpetual motion from existing, because the gradual loss of usable energy always increases in a closed system, meaning even the most efficient machine will eventually slow down and stop as energy dissipates. The dream of getting something from nothing captivates inventors and dreamers alike. Over the centuries, countless perpetual motion machines have been proposed, from philosophers to everyday tinkerers. In this video, we will explore some of the most famous attempts. First and foremost, we have Leonardo da Vinci's wheel. Designed in the 15th century, his concept used marbles arranged inside a wheel, shifting their positions to create an imbalance that would in theory keep the wheel turning forever. The problem with this is of course friction. Even if the initial push made the wheel rotate, air resistance and mechanical friction would gradually sap its energy until it came to a complete stop. A similar design used arms or marbles attached to the edge of a wheel. The idea was that once set in motion, the weights would swing on one side and knock against the wheel on the other side, supposedly sustaining rotation indefinitely. In reality, energy losses from collisions, friction and air resistance ensure the wheel slows down all the time, just like any moving object. Next up is Boyle's flask, a clever but impossible siphon based design. The idea was to have a cup of water with a tube at the bottom, looping upward and back into the cup, creating a continuous flow. However, siphons only work if the output end is lower than the input. In this closed loop, the water would reach equilibrium, with no net force to keep it moving. After that, meet the float belt. This design uses hollow balls attached to a chain, half submerged in water. The submerged balls being buoyant should theoretically rise, pulling the chain and turning the mechanism forever. But physics has another opinion. The energy needed to push the balls into the water against buoyant force cancels out the energy gained from the rising ones. The system balances out, resulting in no net motion. And now is the time to introduce you to magnets, something people use to come up with perpetual motion ideas and post them on places like 4chan. The first one on our list is a perpetual vehicle with two magnets, one on the front side of the car and one on a fixed stand opposite to the first magnet. Both are arranged to attract each other. The idea is that the car would be pulled forward indefinitely, but in reality the magnets would simply stick together or reach an equilibrium position with no continuous motion. Another case of magnets trying to defeat thermodynamics is the infinite spin helicopter. Magnets placed on router blades were supposed to create endless rotation. Newton's third law however dictates that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, meaning the blades are equally pulled and pushed back, resulting in zero net motion. If the magnets were strong enough, they would just bend the blades and lock in place. This one has a car which is supposed to be pulled by a magnet, drop down a curved track and emerge on the other side to repeat the cycle. But if the magnet is strong enough to pull the car, it won't let it go, meaning the car would just stick to it. Now to end this video, we have one perpetual motion machine that seems to defy explanation. A wheel housed in London's Royal Society built by engineer David Jones. Jones. It appears to spin on its own for extended periods without an obvious energy source. The secret is sealed in an envelope to be opened in 2047. My best guess is that it has a cleverly hidden heat engine that exploits temperature changes, similar to how a dippy bird works. But unlike the bird, Jones' wheel remains a mystery. For now.